All right, I am back on my Bobcat project today. I have done a ton of research. I'm trying to solve the mystery as to why my lift arms drifting are drifting down. So far, I've changed the seals in both of the lift cylinders. They didn't look bad. They were a little worn, but they're new now, so that's definitely not the problem. A couple things about it. When you lift the safety bar on the machine, the arms actually stop. So I believe this, one of these solenoids here with the wires going to it, is the spool lock. So we know that that is actually, in fact, functioning and locking out the hydraulic pressure to the spool. So there's a guy on YouTube that goes by how I did it. He's a Bobcat mechanic. I believe his name is Brady. He has been super helpful. His videos are great. I suggest you go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. I sent him an email, described my problem. He pointed me in the direction of checking out my manual, which I have been, and I found my hydraulic control valve, spool lock with Bix control diagram. He suggested, which makes a lot of sense, there are two relief valves on this assembly. There's one for the tilt cylinder, and there's a relief for the lift cylinder. He said, check your parts diagram, which I did, and which I found it to be part 19. So there's one on the front and one on the back. They're both part 19, same part number. His suggestion, take out the lift and take out the tilt and flip-flop them. If the problem goes away, then you know the seals are bad on that valve. So I like this idea, it doesn't cost any money. So I'm gonna start getting to it. I believe, let me see if I can show you. The one I'm after is this one right here on the front. I believe that is my lift. And then on the back, this one way back here, down here, if you could see it right there, that's my tilt. So I'm gonna work on taking those out and I'm gonna flip flop them in I will see what it does. I got this one broken free, but there's definitely some fluid coming out. I shoved some rags down in the abyss, but what I'm going to try to do is maybe I'll, I'll break the other one free. And maybe I'll be able to switch them real fast as to not make a big mess. I'm going to check my diagram one more time because I see two back there, and then I will pull it out and see what happens. I right, double checked my diagram. It looks like it is the bottom one, of course, so I'm going to try to see if I can break that one free. Okay, this is the seal here. There is some like a groove in it here. So this might be the might be the problem. So we're gonna flip them and see. And I think we found our problem. The seal is busted. Sweet. It's always good when you actually find the problem. So it looks like I just need some seals for this thing. This is good news. I am going to see if I can plug off what's leaking. And then uh, I'm going to try to run out and get some seals. I'll bring you back when I find some. Alright, I'm back from the seal shop. They were able to set me up with a new o-ring, a new backer and a new o-ring here. I ended up buying two sets, so I got this set and then I'll, I'll have a spare set for the other side. Uh, for right now, I'm not even gonna change the ones on the other one. Just gonna put this back in and see if it fixed my problem. It was 10 bucks for the new seals, so we'll see if this works.
All right, as you just saw, we have success. Feels good when you get a win. So the arms are holding now. Everything's back together. I have a rag down there soaking. I'm gonna pull that out in a minute. Again, I wanna thank Brady from How I Did It YouTube channel. I'm gonna link him below. He's the one that pointed me in the right direction. I sent him an email and he pointed me in the right direction on those valves or those relief valves. So it's awesome, back in business. All right guys, we'll catch you next week on the next video on this machine.